Hello students, this is a lecture on dental radiography for week two, part two. Extraoral film equipment. Screen films are used with intensifying screens and cassettes. Intensifying screens are devices that transfers x-ray energy into visible light. The visible light then exposes the screen film. This lowers the radiation dose to the patient. A screen film is secured in a cassette between two intensifying screens of matching size. The intensifying screen is a smooth plastic sheet coated with minute fluorescent crystals known as phosphors. There are two types of intensifying screens. Calcium tungstate screens emit blue light and rare earth screens emit green light. A cassette is used to hold the film and the intensifying screens. It may be flexible or rigid. Cassettes must be light tight and hold the intensifying screen in contact with film. Otherwise, the lack of contact between film and cassette will result in a lack of sharpness of the image in that area. A rigid cassette has a plastic front cover to allow the photons to pass through. The back cover is metal to reduce scatter radiation. The cassette is marked with an L and an R for orientation to the left and right side of the image. Duplicating film is a different type of film than radiographic film. It is only used to make copies. The longer it is exposed, the lighter the film will be. This is good for referrals and for the submission of insurance claims. It has an emulsion on one side only. It is not exposed to x-rays. It must be used with a film duplicator. Unlike intraoral film, duplicating film has a single emulsion layer and is never exposed to x-rays, only to light. The longer the duplicating film is exposed to light, the lighter it becomes. This is the opposite of x-ray film, which becomes darker when exposed to light. Film is negatively affected by heat, humidity, and radiation. Therefore, it should be kept in a cool, dry place. Film has an expiration date, and it must be used before that date. Dental X-ray Image Characteristics A dental radiograph appears as a black and white image or picture with varying shades of gray. Radiolucent refers to the portion of the processed radiograph that is dark or black. A structure that appears black on film lacks density. Radiopaque is used to refer to the portion of the processed radiograph that appears white. A structure that appears white on film is dense and absorbs or resists the passage of an x-ray beam. These terms are relative. For example, although dentin is more radiopaque than the dental pulp, it is more radiolucent than the overlying enamel. In order to ensure that these differences are noticeable, both contrast and density must be optimized. In a diagnostic radiograph, the images have proper density and contrast, have sharp outlines, are of the same shape and size as the object radiograph. The overall darkness or blackness of a dental radiograph is referred to as density. It is the relative transparency which depends on the distribution of black silver particles in the emulsion. The density is influenced by milliamperage, operating kilovoltage, 
exposure time, and subject thickness. Contrast is the difference in degrees of blackness between adjacent areas. A film that is a compromise between low contrast and high contrast is preferred. The overall contrast is determined by film contrast, which is the inherent quality of the film and film processing, and subject contrast, which is the characteristic of the subject that influence the radiographic contrast. Increasing the kilovoltage affects image contrast by increasing the mean or average energy of the x-rays and producing higher energy x-rays. More areas of varying tissue density are recorded on the image and appear as shades of gray. The range of useful densities. Short scale contrast is the same as high contrast. Long scale contrast is the same as low contrast. A radiograph that displays short contrast is said to have high contrast due to the easily distinguishable areas of black and white. A radiograph that displays long contrast or low contrast has many densities or many shades of gray. High contrast occurs with machines that have a low KVP. Low contrast occurs with machines that have a high KVP. An aluminum step wedge can demonstrate short scale and long scale contrast. The step wedge consists of uniform layered thicknesses of an X-ray absorbing material. Different densities appear on the dental radiograph. The geometric characteristics are sharpness, magnification, and distortion. Sharpness is the capability of the X-ray receptor to reproduce the distinct outlines of an object. A certain lack of image sharpness is present in every radiograph. The lack of sharpness is called the penumbra. Sharpness is influenced by three factors, focal spot size, film composition, and movement. Magnification results from the divergent paths of the X-ray beam as they radiate from the focal spot. It is influenced by the target receptor distance and the object receptor distance. Distortion is a variation in the true size and shape of an object being radiographed. It results from unequal magnification of different parts of the same object because of improper receptor alignment or angulation of the X-ray beam. These are influenced by object film alignment and X-ray beam angulation. Chapter 9, Dental X-ray Film Processing. Film processing refers to the steps that you go through to produce a visible image on a dental radiograph. It converts the latent image to a visible image and preserves the image so that it is permanent. Film processing fundamentals. It takes the latent image and converts it to a visible image. Silver halide crystals absorb the X radiation during the X ray exposure. The latent image is a pattern of stored energy on the exposed film. A chemical reaction called reduction results in precipitated black metallic silver. Selective reduction is a reduction of energized exposed silver halide crystals into black metallic silver. Unenergized, unexposed silver halide crystals are removed from the film. 
The film is placed in a developer solution. The film is rinsed in water. It is then placed in a fixer solution and again washed in water. The visible image is made of black, white, and gray areas. Radiolucent appears black. Radiopaque appears white. The manual film processor. We're going through the steps. Development, rinsing, fixation, washing, and drying. To reduce the exposed, energize silver halide crystals into black metallic silver and soften the film emulsion. That is development. Rinsing stops the development process. Fixation removes the unexposed, unenergized silver halide crystals from the film and hardens the film emulsion. Washing removes all excess chemicals from the emulsion. Films must be dried before they can be handled for mounting or viewing. Film processing solutions may be obtained as powder, ready to use liquid or liquid concentrate. To maintain freshness, the processing solutions must be replenished daily. They must be changed every three to four weeks. More frequent changing may be needed if large numbers of film are being processed. The developer solution consists of a developing agent, such as hydroquinone, which causes or creates the black tones and sharp contrast, and elon, which produces the shades of gray. The solution also contains a preservative, which is sodium sulfite, an accelerator, sodium carbonate, and a restrainer, potassium bromide. The fixer solution contains a fixing agent, sodium thiosulfate or ammonium thiosulfate. It is commonly called hypo. It also contains sodium sulfite as a preservative, potassium alum as the hardening agent, and acetic acid or sulfuric acid as acidifiers. The equipment needed is a processing tank or automatic processor. Manual processing is hand processing. The processing tank is divided into compartments to hold developer solution, water bath, and fixer solution. Two tanks hold together the developer and fixer solutions and both fit into a master tank. The master tank suspends both insert tanks and is filled with circulating water. The mixing valve controls the water temperature. A thermometer is placed in the developer solution. A timer indicates processing time in intervals. Film hangers hold the film, and sometimes you might need a stirring rod. Care and maintenance. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for storage, mixing, and use. Solutions deteriorate with exposure to air, continued use, and chemical contamination. This concludes this section on dental radiography, week two, part two.